Hello everyone. Let's learn today anatomy of vomer bone. Now here in this diagram you can see uh, this is vomer and uh, it has got four borders. This is superior border, posterior border, inferior border and very oblique anterior border. So it has got four borders and it's thin bone and it is unpaired bone forming skeleton of the splanchnocranium. Now here you can see there are two diverging alli and in between these two there is a grooved margin that is termed as superior border. The posterior border is free. The inferior border is related to the hard palate and anterior border is uh, attached to the ethmoid and the septal cartilage. Let me show you in another diagram. See this. Here you can see uh, this is Woomer. Uh, with the bones it is related to so above there is sphenoid and uh, this is body of sphenoid and uh, the elevated portion in the inferior border of body of sphenoid is rostrum of sphenoid so the diverging ala it is related to the body of sphenoid and the superior border is attached to the rostrum of sphenoid posterior border is free inferior border it is related to the heart palate it is attached to the heart palate an anterior oblique border it is related to the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid and septal cartilage so uh, this is the diverging ala okay uh, and in between these two there is a groove you can clearly make out so this is superior border uh, this is posterior border this is inferior border which is broken in the middle and this is oblique anterior border okay so uh, this is boomer it is very thin papery thin bone and it is found in the midline and this is the bony plate which is covered in living by the mucous membrane uh, here also you can see there is an oblique groove on either side you can clearly appreciate and that is in living it is allowing passage for nasopalate and nerve and vessels right so these structures are lodged into this groove now uh, let me show you the woomer in articulated skull you can see the woomer from inferior aspect this is inferior aspect of the skull and uh, this is hard palate and over here you can see this is posterior border of the woomer and these two are diverging ala okay so let me show you the same in the separate bone so it is lying like this okay so below are the diverging ala and this is posterior free border which is separating posterior nas okay so it is like this and here the inferior border it is related to the hard palate now let me show you the same these two are maxilla and they are connected with each other in the midline you can see here and major portion of the hard palate is contributed by the palatine process of the maxilla so these two are palatine processes of the maxilla and the upper margin as you can see it is crest like right when i join these two like this they form a crest like structure and here the woomer is related this is the inferior border which is broken so here it is related okay let me join all these three together Okay. Posteriorly, the hard palate is contributed by horizontal plate of palatine bone. So, like this, the boomer is connected with the hard palate, with the palatine bone, and with the maxilla, like this. Okay. The posterior border will be free. And the diverging ala, as we have discussed in diagram, it is related to the body of sphenoid. Now, this is sphenoid. These two are lesser wings, these two are greater wings, in between this is the body of sphenoid, these are the sphenoidal air sinuses and this is the body of sphenoid in its inferior part there is a bony elevation, you can clearly see this. This is rostrum of sphenoid and the diverging ala, they are related to the body of sphenoid and the rostrum will fix with the su superior border, right like this. So the same thing you can make out with the skull. Okay, let me show you again. The same feature is observed over here. The posterior border, diverging ala, body of sphenoid and rostrum of sphenoid.
now the remaining anterior border anterior border is slopey right and in upper part it is related to the perpendicular plate of ethmoid in lower part it is related to the septal cartilage now let me show you ethmoid this is ethmoid and you can uh, see uh, this is creepiform plate above in between these two is the cristagli and these two are the labyrinths okay and from inferior aspect you can see in the midline there is perpendicular plate of ethmoid very clearly so that portion is related to the upper part of the anterior border like this and together these two will form the bony septum bony nasal septum like this okay so uh, this is the anatomy of the humor bone hope you understood well thanks for watching